Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here, and we're back with another redstone tutorial. The first one in a really, really long time. And this one, well, this design anyway, is sort of an old friend. It's one of the first designs I built on the channel, one of my first videos that got any attention. And recently, it was broken in all sorts of ways. So I decided it was time to revisit it, fix it, and make an obsidian generator for Minecraft 1.12 and above that worked not only as good as the last ones, but far better. We've compacted the redstone even more, and it's, it's something I'm kind of proud of. It uses some pretty complex circuits, and just the design itself works very smoothly. Now, if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking this is another portal. How does this generate obsidian? And that's the cool thing. We generate obsidian in this design with nether portals. Basically, you'd build a big field, or not build a field, build this in a field. And then you'd go up to this, the portal turns on, and you'd step into the portal. Well, halfway into the portal, so you're still standing on the pressure plates, but in the portal a little bit. You'd get taken into the nether. Once you got into the nether, you'd throw an item back. And that would activate the overworld for just a few seconds, which would give it enough time to break the portal, which we do with water, if you look at this. And then when we came back, we'd generate a brand new portal, and we would have ten new obsidian plopped into our world. And the redstone controlling all of this is really, really cool. It's one of the most compact builds I've ever done, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Basically, the signal from the pressure plates goes along here and into this piston, so when we stand on the pressure plates, it activates this dispenser, which activates a flint and steel, which lights the portal. Then when we step off the pressure plate, the block comes back just like this, and it activates this piston right here, which has an observer block on it, which sends a pulse out here, activating this dispenser, and then another pulse into this monostable circuit, which actually activates the observer one more time, activating the dispenser again. So we get a quick pulse of water that turns on and off and breaks the portal. Now, to use this, I already showed you guys how to use this, but just to be clear, we go into the nether, and wait for the terrain to load. It might take a while. Okay, okay, come on, come on. You know what, my laptop's in low power mode. That's not a good thing. I was wondering why I was getting all sorts of weird lag. We're just gonna wait for this to end for a second. And then all we're gonna do is throw an item back through the portal. I'm just gonna use this dispenser to do it. And what that's gonna do is load the world for a few seconds so that all the redstone can finish and the portal will break since we're not standing on it. And once that's done, we can walk right back into the portal, come through, and check it out. We have generated a brand new nether portal, and these should spawn near your build. I really would recommend, especially if you're doing this out in the open, which you really have to be, um, I would recommend building a roof like one block above all of this, because, like you saw there, you can generate inside of blocks, and if you're not careful, you can generate inside of your redstone. But if you put a roof above it, that should fix it up completely, and you won't have any problems. And that's how the build works. Now, if you want to build this thing, it's actually pretty cheap. You're just going to need some blocks, some slabs, three sticky pistons, three dispensers, two if you don't want it to be symmetrical. The third one's just there for decoration. Eight redstone, a redstone block, a redstone repeater, an observer, two pressure plates, a water bucket, a flint and steel, and of course some obsidian to make your portal. So to start the build off, we're going to go to the front of our portal and place two blocks with two pressure plates on top of them, then go down, skip a block, and place slabs just like this, three right here with redstone on top of them, and then another one right here, another one right here, and a solid block right here, putting redstone on top of these two slabs. From there, we're going to come over to the top of this block and place a piston right here with a redstone block on it, 
And on top of that redstone block facing upward, we're going to place another sticky piston with an observer block on it facing like so. From there, we're just going to fill in our dispensers. We're going to have one here, one here, and one ooh, right here, just like that. And then, believe it or not, that's actually most of your redstone done. Now we're going to put quartz blocks here and here. They don't have to be quartz blocks, just some sort of decorative block that fills in the gap so water doesn't spill out of the back. And from there, we're going to take another slab just like this, a sticky piston facing upward right here with a solid block on top of it, and a slab right here. Put redstone here, 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 and a repeater right here set to two ticks. And believe it or not, that is all of your redstone. We basically just need to stand on this block. We'll see it activate. That is, if we put the flint and steel in where it's supposed to go. I should point that out. You need a flint and steel here and a water bucket right here. So let's step on this. Portal activates, and if we step off, the portal breaks. Now that is the entire build, and it's a pretty fun one. I use this a decent amount. Now, late game, once you get access to the end, it really is easier to go to the end if you want a ton of obsidian, but this is a good um, a good way to get some obsidian. And if you're, say, on a skyblock server, this is the only way to generate obsidian, unless you're using, like, weird hacks or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But this is reliable, it's easy, and you don't really have to go anywhere far away for it. But unfortunately, guys, I think that's all I have time for today. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. And if you really like this, you know, stick around. I, I really have a lot of cool stuff on this channel. I have a Let's Play where I build all sorts of amazing stuff. I, have, I play some other games, too, and I do lots and lots of redstone Ah, <sighs> but until the next time, this has been Richie. I hope you like this video, and I'm out. See you in the next one.